Hi, I'm Kali. I'm the manager, farmer, winemaker on Porsche Lineberg. Uh, we are in the southeastern corner of the Swartland. This is the Porsche Lineberg property. Um, a lot of the grapes of the Buchenholz Kloof Syrah, Chocolate Block and the Porsche Lineberg wine is farmed here. Just a brief bit of history. In 2009, Buchenholz Kloof decided to invest in some viticultural land, a farm, um, just to secure the source of fruit. So we started farming, started planting in 2010. And the beginning idea was 40 hectares and we bought some more land in interim and we're up to 90 hectares on the Porsche Lamberg and um, bought another farm as well called the gold mine. There we have 40 hectares. So in between the two farms, it's about 130. We'll produce close to a thousand tons of fruit, of which mostly Syrah, and then some Grenache and some Cinso. Because it was a brand new wine, the Porsche Lambach wine, I wanted to do something that is very understated and traditional, not something that was made in a lab or something like that. So we focused on very traditional um, winemaking methods. There's no sorting, no machines, it's all whole bunch. We still do a bit of foot stomping and uh, the main objective of the wine is to show the place, this amazing soil and site and the vintage variations. It's fermented all whole bunch, um, no extended macerations and things like that. It's a quick, um, clean ferment. Natural yeasts are used from the um, beginning. Um, and then as soon as it's wine, it's aged in big barrels, um, two and a half thousand liter fudra and concrete eggs. The end blend um, ages for about 12 months in barrels and eggs, uh, which is then assembled, um, blended together, and then bottled and aged in bottle for another year to 18 months and then released. So the thinking behind um, using the fudra and the, and the concrete eggs, they both bigger volume. Um, the two and a half thousand liters fudra and 675 um, liters. Um, the eggs, um, that's, the eggs is about three times bigger than a normal barrel and the fudra is about 12 barrels in one. So it's a really reductive, um, fresh way of aging wine. Um, the oxidation is a lot slower. Um, the reason for that is I'm trying to bottle something that's going to age very long in bottle. So we want to bottle something that's going into bottle young, not something that has aged much, um, just to maintain the freshness and the purity that's um, coming from these grapes. Something else that um, I've decided to do is to keep the winemaking process exactly the same every year. Um, so since 2010, the first vintage, we've not changed anything. Um, it's whole bunches every year. We try to pick to taste. Um, the main reason for that is just to um, lessen the variables so that the vintage can do the talking. Um, we have obviously with the increased plantings started messing around with a few different sites and blocks just to see how they go. And it's been a hell of a journey and very interesting to see the range of vintages and vintage variations in something that's produced in exactly the same way. Each bottle of Porsche Lamberg is labeled by hand, back and front. Um, so we had a um, Porsche Lambach label designed and um, in 2010, Mark Kent found an uh, old leather press. Um, he called me up and told me that he bought it for me and um, I had to learn to use it. Um, since then, uh, we've been printing every single label of the Porsche Lambach uh, right here on the property. Um, it also enables us to custom make every single label. Um, each and every case that leaves the property has its own label, whether it be an export order or a single case going to a private client. Um, the front label is blind embossed um, and then the back label has ink and uh, that's the story. <laughs>